I flew from Phoenix to Atlanta on Delta One and visited the Delta Lounge prior to boarding. It was pretty crowded, but offered some decent food and drink before boarding. The flight was delayed by an hour, which made the boarding process a little messy, but once they opened the boarding door, it ran smoothly. Now from my experience, flying in business class on a U.S. domestic flight, you are usually given a larger and wider business class seat. So I was tickled pink when I walked into the Delta One section and discovered these seats, which were lie flat seats. The plane was an Airbus 350, which is a large plane that seats over 300 passengers, and every seat was full. So I assumed the popular route allowed for a bigger plane, hence the premium first class seats. The overhead bin space was plentiful, but instead of putting your personal items under the seat in front of you, you are provided with a small cupboard. I usually travel with this mini wheelie bag that fits underneath the seat in front of me, which would not fit in this case, so I had to empty the essentials out and put the rest in the overhead bin. The cupboard easily held my purse, laptop, and a few other items, but was unreachable with my seat belt on. The seat had a flexible headrest, electrical and USB outlets, as well as a headphone jack for the provided headset. The buttons to operate the seat were on the middle console and worked a little clumsily, usually with several pushes to get it moving, but eventually you were able to adjust it to your needs. The console also housed a small space for some personal items and a remote control for the TV. Unlike on other planes, the remote control was necessary since you couldn't reach the TV screen by leaning forward. Although the seats were lie flat seats, they did not provide you with a pillow, blanket, or amenity kit. The entertainment was plentiful, which I find on all Delta flights, with a plethora of options for movies, TV shows, games, and flight info. Once up in the air, we got a meal and prompt service. This was my meal of salad with burrata cheese, fruit, and a cookie. The salad was excellent. The tray table had one of the easiest designs I've seen for getting it out and in and was fairly large. As you can see, the leg space was enormous for even the long-legged. There was a bench on the other side that I saw people using as a footrest, but I couldn't reach it with my 5'5 frame. Once the meal service was done, I was happy to lay fairly flat for the rest of the trip. I really didn't want to sleep since it was only 4 p.m., but there were plenty of people that took the opportunity and the others all quietly watched the TV screen. So overall, I was extremely pleased with the quality of the first class cabin for this domestic flight. If I had to nitpick, it would have been to have a larger and reachable place to put your personal items and a better place for a water bottle. But these were minor and I would gladly give them up for the opportunity to have a lie flat seat on a domestic flight. If you'd like to follow my senior and solo travel journeys, please click subscribe below. Cheers.